hello guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to look at how to use microsoft whiteboard for complete beginners this is a visual collaboration tool you can collaborate and brainstorm your ideas okay it's a whiteboard that you can use pencils markers of different colors to brainstorm your ideas and have it arranged so to get started with whiteboard a microsoft whiteboard all you need to do is to open your microsoft account or you can just come to microsoft.com forward slash this i'll put this link in the description so without taking much of our time let's get started so there are a bunch of ways to get to the microsoft whiteboard you can start from, from maybe going through the the one that is existing in the microsoft teams that one during the meeting you can easily access it you can go straight to whiteboard.office.com and you can have access to it you can easily create a new whiteboard once you land on this page you can create a, to create a new whiteboard or if you have an existing whiteboard that you have created you see them over here and you have the option to click on them and then you can edit accordingly so for this case let's try to create a brand new whiteboard so create new whiteboard by just clicking on this and here we are on the whiteboard windows you can see from the left you can see a bunch of things that you can do for example you can create a note you can bring in text you can bring in shapes reactions images and templates so but to start with for this particular case we can start by renaming our whiteboard let's call it anything we can call it tutorial one once we hit out it's going to take in as our level tutorial one we can uh, start by writing a text we can click and then we can drop it anywhere and then we can write some some things in here okay and you have the option to you can play around with the text color picker okay you can put into to make it this uh, color or this color or even this color which is look it looks much better and you can delete or you can come to the three dots here and you have bring forward and send to back uh, depending on the kind of layers that you have you can move in or, or forward or backward this particular text so you can click and drag it to any site that you want you can expand the text or you can just position it to anywhere so let's say we, ha we have three ways in which you can improve your public speaking confidence the first one is we click on this so the first one is we bring in a sticky note maybe let's say we bring in this color and paste it you can play around with the text text property you can bring add edit decoloration to any color of your choice you can delete you can bring in forward or backward as well the same way but for now let's try to put in the different ways to improve your confidence okay let's say this is the first method practice 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 we can bring in another sticky note and let's say we change the color to something else and then we say the second thing is and then we can bring in the third one we can paste it here okay the last thing we can say is know your audience knowing your audience can also help you to improve your public speaking confidence because you will devise your your content according to them so let's say these are the three methods these are the three ways that you can improve your confidence we can do we can choose from any of them so it's up to you so let's say we we now know how to bring in sticky notes or notes into the whiteboard we can bring in shapes as well okay you can bring in any shape you want you just click you can resize it and you can rotate it to face upward or sideways depending on your choice you can size it to face that place or you can put in any one and you can change the coloration as well to something like this we can bring in reactions you can say which of these do you prefer i can say start with this okay we can bring in this so you can bring in any one any kind of reactions we can bring in these as well you just put it here you can go back and you can add another thing you can bring in images assuming you want to put in an image for example you come to pictures and we pick this in this picture over here and then we can just resize it and put it here just to signify that this guy is practicing to improve his confidence so this is how to bring in 
different kind of features into this whiteboard and we have the option to bring in templates you can look into within templates as well so when we click we can see different kind of templates depending on what you want to do for example this is just a normal white spot that i just put in my thoughts into it how to do this and i have put in everything and then you can have two other templates the brainstorming template when you click you can see a bunch of ideas that you can put in and put them as sticky notes you can see other things problem solving design and research strategy planning retrospective workshops learning and all so let's say we we'll go to problem solving and we can select from any of these okay you can paste it here and this is your whiteboard so you can zoom in uh, zoom in to see the content and you can come over here and put in your content accordingly you can type on each this is low benefit high cost high benefit low cost so you just design your idea you are free to edit this text you can click to edit the text you can edit this one as well then you can change in this and bring in new features new things to add into this okay so but each and every one that you want to edit you can edit it manually like this put in a text to put in a text here you can just click on this and you start putting the text so over here you have the incas you can bring in different kind of inks you can disable or enable them and you can choose from a range of options you can choose this black one or you can choose the red one okay by clicking it the red is enabled or you can choose this green one or this marker okay you can have marker option and you have eraser also once you write something and you're not satisfied with it you can always erase it okay so you can click on this and you can make your illustrations you can increase the size of the tip of the pen to any size i usually prefer it at three and then you can select any color of your choice also if you want okay so once you select a color you can make the end of the line to be to be an arrowhead or to be this double-sided arrow or to be no arrow at all so the arrowhead is going to be something like this so assuming you select arrowhead and you draw something it's going to be like this okay so you can see the arrowhead at the end going to be something like this and you can see the arrowhead and you can write easily to demonstrate anything anything of your choice you can write to demonstrate that and you can use this highlighter to highlight the points you are trying to make on this like i'm trying to show more emphasis on this or you can delete anything of your choice if you like once you click it deletes so very easy to use and if you want it to be on a simple background you can make it you can bring it back and you have the lasso select option also to convert the write-up into a text okay so you have the option to do a lot of things over here you can change different kind of things you can use different types of the template and then if you want to change the background of this whole whiteboard you can come over here and come to this uh, setting gear and you can click on it you can choose to export this as an image a png file and share with anyone that you like maybe on other social media handles or you can format the background you can choose any background color that you want this yellow looks kind of good and you can change a lot of grid settings over here and then lastly you can export you can share this file you can enable the share link and once you copy this link you can share it with others and you can collaborate with them on this particular project or on this particular whiteboard that you are putting in your thoughts in so ladies and gentlemen thanks for watching this is just a brief on how to use the microsoft whiteboard to showcase your ideas or to brainstorm your ideas and then think about how you can improve or you can bring in different kind of innovative ways of thinking or of solving problems if you enjoyed this video remember to hit the like and subscribe button to keep enjoying related videos like this from this channel i'll see you in my next video bye